hello friends how are you i hope you all are fine so today i'm going to talking about how to make our computer safe so i'm going to talk about eight ways to keep your computer safe the first way how can you save your computer keep your software up to date software makers like microsoft and oracle routinely update their software to fix bugs that could potentially be exploited by hackers oracle just released on sunday an update to its java software to fix a security hole hackers could have used to infect computer with malware and the second thing second how can you make your computer safe don't click on links within emails a good rule of thumb is if you don't recognize a sender of an email don't click on any links within it microsoft says 44.8% of windows viruses infections happen because the computer user clicked on something so don't click on that links that may can harm your whole system totally the third thing use free antivirus software you don't have to pay for software to protect your computer or for an annual subscription to maintain the latest virus protection for window users microsoft security essentials is free avas is another free antivirus software program to use that and the fourth how can you make your computer safe back up your computer back up just back up so i'm going to ask you do you regularly back up the information on your computer if you don't okay 29% of computer users fall into the category you have no protection from calamities ranging from hard drive failures to your house burning down if you value your data back it up now back it up just back it up that will more secure the fifth way use a strong password the password should be strong strong a strong password is one that is complex not that is very easy complex like with a mix of letters numbers and symbols while some people use the same password for everything try to avoid that practice make different passwords like password security company uh, says that three most common passwords are like 123456 123456789 1234567, and the password itself the company recommends avoiding using the same user same username password combination for multiple online sites login uh, so when you are creating a password use eight characters or more than that try using short phrases separated by spaces or underscore marks such as such as like car underscore park underscore city question mark then semicolon etc all these kinds of stuff and the sixth way is use a firewall just because you have antivirus software running doesn't mean you have a firewall both pcs and macs come with built in firewall software be sure to check that it's enabled and the seventh way is minimize download make sure your web browser security settings are high enough to detect unauthorized downloads for internet explorer the medium security setting is the minimum level of to minimum level to use okay and the eighth and the last way according to me is use a pop up blocker when browsers have the ability to stop pop-ups pop-up windows and allow you to set the security for accepting pop-ups the federal the federal sites recommends never clicking on links within pop-up screens okay and the i'm going to tell you about different kinds of viruses the first thing you should know what is a virus okay so what is a virus computer viruses are small program that are designed to spread 
from one computer to another and to interfere with computer operation. A virus might corrupt or delete a data from your computer. Use your email programs to spread itself other computers or even erase everything on your hard disk. Computer viruses are often spread by attachments in email messages or instant messages. This is why it is essential that you never open email attachments unless you know who it's from and you, you are expecting it. Viruses can be disguised as attachments of funny images, greeting cards or audios and video files etc. Computer viruses also spread through downloads on the internet. They can be hidden in illicit software or other files or programs you might download. Okay, so here are some major types of viruses that may affect your uh, computer. So main, major common types you can remember is that like resident viruses, multipartite viruses, direct action viruses, override viruses, boot virus, microvirus, directory virus, file infectors, network virus, fat virus, worms, torsion or torsion horses. Okay, so keep this thing in your mind. And here are the some types of antiviruses. So uh, there are, I arranged five of them, five antiviruses from all of them. The first virus antivirus is AVG. AVG is one of the most popular antivirus program that can be optimized for free. And it's easy to download directly from the internet. Okay. And this antivirus contains small amount of uh, space on your computer. That will be much better. And the second antivirus is McAfee. McAfee has been the second most popular virus amongst all antivirus companies in the market for years, which has enabled the company to cement their position as a strong competitor to Symantec. Okay. And the third antivirus is Norton. Norton is a product of Symantec and it's it is also a kind of a best virus you can use. Fourth is Kasperky and fifth is Adware. Uh, there are so many types of viruses, antiviruses you can use to protect your computer from antivirus. So these are the practices you can apply on your regular basis to make your computer safe, make your workplace safe, make your data safe. So that's all for now. If you liked my video, then thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and the most important subscribe. If you want to, uh, if you want to make more corrections in my videos, in my voice quality, in my communication skills. So let me know.